We just opted out of our smart meter and switched over to analog. Uh, Dr. Laura Presley came out and was kind enough to take radiation readings before the meter was removed and after to compare. And actually the whole process was very eye-opening, so check it out. Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Presley and I'm here to help measure smart meters and um, I've been measuring smart meters around Austin for about the last three years and what we have found are some really serious health issues with families that are um, being affected by these smart meters. One of the things that really I'm seeing that's being affected are, is people's sleeplessness. You know, when you try to go to sleep, your brain waves slow down and with smart meters as they're pulsing in your vicinity, what happens is your brain never really gets to calm down. And what we're seeing in Austin, smart meters are pulsing about every 30 seconds. I've also had a family that I was helping them measure their smart meter and their daughter was having seizures. And so when they opted out of their smart meter, her seizures stopped. What happens is in the middle of the night, there's a huge pulse that they send uh, data back to the collectors. If you think about it, these pulses are affecting people's brain waves, their heartbeat. People in apartments are really at risk because a lot of times you have a bank of meters, 30 or 40 as you've seen. A smart meter puts out about 60,000 microwatts per meter squared and background in Austin is about 3 microwatts. So imagine 60,000. So today we're going to be testing um, before the smart meter is replaced with an analog and we'll take multiple measurements. We'll take um, microwave measurements, we'll take radio frequency measurements, and we'll take dirty electricity measurements and see what the baseline is right now with the smart meter and then you guys will get it replaced and then we'll come back and measure again. Alright, your kitchen should be less than 50 and you are 230. 233, okay? And will these numbers change when you take the smart meter off? They will, they'll drop. Because wow. the switching mode power supply puts a lot of dirty electricity into the plugs. And if you think your smart meter, think about your smart meter, all your electrical lines are connected to that meter and so it's affecting every single circuit that's in the house. Laura took dirty electricity readings in each room of the house before the smart meter's removal. 199. Okay, so you're about 153. That's kind of high for a bedroom. I've seen uh, over 1500 before and that's cancer level. And I have a friend whose his bedroom was reading 1500 to 2000 and uh, he's being treated for brain cancer. Next, Laura measured the radiation in the house using a high frequency analyzer. Now, the background of Austin is about three microwatts per meter squared. And you want to be below three. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're already in your in here over 100. So as I go towards the router, Unplug your, can you unplug your router and turn it off? And there you go. So let's see what the baseline is. Um, there's something else that's really strong. Okay. So it's dropping. That's crazy. There's your baseline. Go back to a landline. It's putting off a lot of... You, you saw it. Yeah. Would you, if you, could you sleep if you had to listen to that? Yeah. So just shut it off when you're not watching. I have a lot of people who just turn it off at night. They just unplug them at night. And then in the morning I get up, they plug them back in. And then, it, and then you can kind of see the difference. I've had some people tell me that they start dreaming or they realize they weren't dreaming before. Mm -hmm. So the sleep they're going into is a much deeper sleep. See, there's your baseline. It's a really good baseline. Mm. Okay. Do you have your phone on you? Cell phone? Yeah. Yeah, in my pocket. Okay. Let's um, let's. Why don't you turn that on? Okay. I want you to turn. It on. Okay. Yeah. It, it, over two thousand. <laughs> yeah. So take turn it off. Ah! <laughs> oh wait. You're so Sorry. Funny. What yeah, do I? Yeah. Just power just off. Turn it off. Yeah. Just and it's gonna send major signals as it's going off. Yeah. Let's turn it. Sending signal to the GPS of where you're at as you're going off. So get these out of our pockets. 
There you go. Interesting, I've had people also go to a landline for their computer, and they don't even have their router anymore during the day. Yeah. So it, it, everybody gets around. See, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.5, see how great that is? Yeah. It's just calmer. It's a lot calmer. So. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Went up to, and I'm a little bit far away from it, so it's reading about 40. Because it pulses so quick, it kind of, the meter here will catch it on its way down. Jeez. Yeah, so every 23 seconds, you're getting 3,000 pulses a day. This is absurd. They just need to t do it once a day max, right? Yeah. If that! Yeah. Then we read the neighbor's smart meter. The, the, their neighbor's smart meter is facing his bedroom, very similar to this. What he did is put aluminum screen on the other side of his fence to block it. And it worked great. It's pulsing to over 2,000. So what you can do is I would put screen. I would go from here all the way down, all the way over. I'll just put the whole thing. I'll put it all the way down. Just go to Home Depot, get aluminum screen like window screening. Tack it on? Mm-hmm and it'll reflect it back to these guys if they don't want to opt out. Normal cell walls, fairly separated and looking healthy. So after two minutes of exposure in front of the smart meter at about one foot away, we see a totally different story. Sample one, you can see a lot of degradation in the cells. The cell walls have been broken. In the second sample, we see a different type of degradation to the cell membranes. You can see a corrugation here. This is called bottle cap formation, and it's known that this occurs due to oxidation or uh, exposure to free radicals. So this third subject, uh, when we did her sample, she had to be pulled away from the meter after 45 seconds because she complained about an increasingly severe headache. And here you see a phenomenon called rouleau, where the red blood cells are stacking up, which makes it very difficult for the blood to deliver oxygen to the tissues as they would be their normal function. Every single one of these shows a trauma to the blood cells and that came from something and the only variable was the smart meter. After the analog meter was installed, we had Laura back out to remeasure the house. Well, we've got no pulsing here, none. Laura measured the radiation from the neighbor's smart meter behind the aluminum screen at a 90% reduction. You're reading 50 without the screen, and then you're reading five with the screen. So you've reduced it 90%. We had Time Warner Cable turn off our Wi-Fi and we hardwired our computers using ethernet. And we used a traditional phone. Laura then remeasured the router and phone. The router and mobile phone both went from 2000 plus microwatts per meter squared down to 0.6. Yeah, you're good here, this is incredible. The ethernet wired computers now put off beautifully low numbers. Next, Laura remeasured the dirty electricity in the house. The dirty electricity in the kitchen was able to drop from 232 down to 50, and the bedroom dropped from 153 down to 60. So, smart meters are a radiation spy device that was placed on your house without your consent. So whether there's an opt-out program or not in your state, it's your right to remove it. Uh, you know, under my plan, uh, of a cap and trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. Dozens and dozens of people who are reporting some really huge billing spikes, in one case over 1,000 percent. A so-called smart grid that is as vulnerable as what we've got is not smart at all. It's a really, really stupid grid.
You've got massive data storage areas that never existed before, specifically to accommodate the accumulation of this kind of knowledge. What in the world are they trying to do with all this data? Why do they need to get into our lives this deeply? What you're seeing is the establishment of a sur of surveillance society. And then they can use the system to go back in time and scrutinize every decision you've ever made. Where does it stop? At what point do we draw the line? Clever people called the technology smart to make it seem intimidating so no one would question it. What I'm finding is that these smart meters are emitting radiation every few seconds. These things that they're installing would allow them to control every appliance in your house. Okay, I'll try this one more time. Legally, are you allowed to refuse the new meter? <laughs>